The Allegheny Journal has found Lori Turner, the executive director for the Community Foundation for Rockbridge Bath in Allegheny, and she joins us today to talk about a really exciting event that happened last night. Welcome, Lori. Welcome. Uh, yeah. You, the foundation, awarded about a hundred and ninety-two thousand dollars in grants last night, Wednesday, November seventh, two thousand and eighteen. I know you're excited about it, and you'd like to tell the whole region about what the foundation does. Give us a little overview. What happened last night? Um. The annual reception is a once a year opportunity for the Community Foundation to allow our donors um, to distribute grants to the not-for-profits in the region. We were able to um, give checks to 64 different organizations last night. 64. That, is that your highest number ever? I, yes, think, I believe it is. Yes, okay. It is. Um, so that was very exciting. We had a variation of agency funds, donor advice funds, um, some unrestricted funds, some designated funds, a lot of different variations of funds that were available. And I think there was a lot of smiles around the room as we passed out money. A nice gathering out of Kendall in Lexington and very well attended. And everybody looks forward to this event each year. That, that's so much money and many people are would like to get to know the Community Foundation uh, better. But can you tell the public if they would like to start a fund or they would like to start working with you to benefit organizations or individuals, how do they go about it? Um, basically, the first step is just to contact me to learn more about what how we, what we are and how we do it. Um, there's a lot of different options of funds. You know, some donors like to have a donor advised fund where they can annually change who they want to give and designate the money to. Others have one or two or even three organizations in their mind that they just want to make set organizations and then they make them designated to those organizations. And some just say, I want to do good with the money and Let's not get unrestricted and let the board decide where it wants to go. And, and people probably would like to know that as part of their estate planning, they may want to give your organization some consideration because wills and uh, grants from estates can live on forever in that person's name. Isn't that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it really simplifies the process when someone passes. Um, it takes the worry of the burden off their family if they have the mother designated already with an estate plan. And obviously it gives their family a chance to do good in the community in perpetuity with the money that they leave. Well, that perpetuity part uh, should be attractive to many people, not just in Rockbridge, Bath, and Allegheny. That's primarily where your grants go. But people who used to live here and still have a great love for the Highlands and the Shenandoah Valley maybe want to give your organization some consideration uh, when thinking about giving. Yeah, absolutely. And even those who um, aren't from here, who, who've moved here, we give to churches and organizations um, outside of our region just because that's home. And that's Girl Scouts and United Way and that kind of thing as well, right? Well, we know you're busy. We know you had a very successful um, annual meeting, and we thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for coming to see us. One take.